artist at the beginning of the 20th century wasn't easy. It wasn't really socially acceptable just to become an artiste. It was taking a huge risk with your future. But J.D. Ferguson, like many of the most successful artists of his era, was clearly a figure that had huge confidence in himself. And boy, did you need it. There wasn't a hugely established art scene out there. There was no guarantee you were going to sell your paintings. And if you were going to try, like J.D. Ferguson, to be a revolutionary, to push your own ability beyond simply painting pots of flowers all the time for commercial use, then you had to have guts. You had to have swagger. And this portrait is full of all of that. It was created in 1909, the year that uh, J.D. Ferguson was appointed uh, a member of the uh, Salon d'Automne. Uh, and we can see that he is very keen to present himself as a dramatic leading man. He's got the hat on at an angle, the eyes are darkened in the shade, his chin's jutting out and he's got a little bit of stubble there. He looks a bit like Al Capone. Here's the new kid on the Parisian block. He's going to make a name for himself. And I just think that while some people might think this simply looks like a caricature, it's a painting of enormous sophistication. It evokes his character, it has presence, but it also has in the beautiful handling of the paint on the face, texture, depth, and enormous personality. Culture Perth and Kinross's new exhibition, Ferguson, is open at Perth Museum and Art Gallery until the 29th of February, 2020. Admission is free, and you must come and see it because it will brighten up those dull Scottish winter afternoons.